Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokulover, of course, and thank you for rejoining me here in Stellaris, learning how to play the game and trying to do my best at it. So, I have a ton, a butt-ton of comments to get through, like, this is a big butt we got talking about here. But right now, before we talk about comments, is, uh, we have Earth, and I see that we have a little bit of unemployment. Now, this is probably going to hurt me in the long run, and I'm not exactly sure, I like Prosperous Unification, exactly which thing, what we should do, because we have unemployed humans. Let's see, we have three blockers, which I know are, we got decisions here, Pop, and I know there's things called planet, there's population, some demographics, humans are growing, we're not assembling any robots, we're declining, 100% robots, that's cool. Uh, we have armies, which I've heard that armies aren't super important, maybe, to talk about. It's more about your fleet. I think that's probably more important. Oh, we can also terraform if we need to, but I don't think we... Well, we might need to. I have no idea. Oh, planetary features. Ah, here we go. So we have sprawling slums. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which isn't very good, which we do need to control. How do we... Oh, clear time. Costs a lot of... Actually, we can start clearing this stuff. That might not be bad, actually, to do that. Yeah, um... On clearing, unlocks Delhi Sprawl, Max Generator Districts. If you clear this, you get Max Agricultural, and then one human pop is... Oh, created, because we get rid of Sprawling Slums. That's not bad. Oh, we could do that, but apparently, you'll see Districts. We can get this, which costs two electricity. And which, you know what? Whatever I choose, it's probably not going to be the best one. Now, there, this gives you one Cleric job, which increases or produces trade value and amenities. Right now, we have a lot of good stuff going for us. Um, and let's see, population-wise, we have two unemployed workers. Now, ooh, which one are clerks? Who are clerks? Artisan, bureaucrats, administrators. Oh, clerks. Hmm. We could do city district, generator district, technician jobs, mining, or agricultural. Or we can choose stuff from over here. Whatever I choose is probably going to be the worst decision. And I don't want to take too long doing this, because we got to get up to uh, through a lot more. That costs quite a bit more... Ooh. Quite a bit of minerals. Do we do get some more alloys. Uh, artisan jobs. F plus five clerk jobs. Uh, is that is that worth it? Nah, you don't want to have too many open jobs, I've heard, as well. Are hollow theaters worth it? Entertainer jobs? Luxury jobs? Um, Maybe research would be good. Researcher jobs, but we need we need clerks, I think. Planet, ooh, more clerk jobs. Resource silo. Is this one worth it? 180 months or days or whatever. 200 minerals. I kind of like this one because you get more resource storage capacity. You get plus two clerk jobs. You get and they produce more trade value and amenities. Um, this seems like it might not be the right choice, but I want to do it. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Well, at least you know what's going to happen. Probably I don't. But we'll see what happens. Have a good time. And also, let's look at this. I want to remove this stuff as well. Cool. That's going to cost a lot of energy. Whatever. So, let's let time go on a little bit after we begin building a second, or maybe even third, science ship. Let's go for a science ship, because we, we went with the Ascension. No, not Ascension. We went with Discovery for our traditions, so we can eventually hopefully map the stars more quickly, get through this as fast as possible. So, let's go ahead and build a third science ship, and then build... A second construction ship. So we want to build a science. Maybe a colony ship too. That actually might be worth doing. Let's go with construction and then a colony ship. Cool. That's fine. Oh, and someone did say, I think it was okay, about my fleet. Someone recommended I disband or strip my fleet of its guns first. Transfer fleet, split fleet, go to fleet manager. Now all of this looks really convoluted and I don't really understand it at all. Auto best. I really don't know retrofit. I have no idea. Disband? I've been told maybe disband it, but... I know it's early game. It takes resources. Where are you guys? Are they orbiting this? Do we know... Um... Hmm. Oh, oh, oh there's that time go on. I don't know. Uh, space... Oh, it's piracy suppression. Okay. Have a higher piracy suppression value if they're smaller. Well, that's good, I guess. Uh, let's see, quickly go to patrol, move, oh, can you move? Entering, okay, so they're entering the orbit here. Um, no orders. How do I give you orders? Home base, oh yeah. Attack target, orbital bombardment, fleet stance, fleet manager, go to, 
disband, return. I oh, just, oh, whatever, cool. I mean, this is my first campaign, so we'll learn as we go. So let's get through a couple of the comments as we let time go on a little slowly. So uh, the first comment was actually to build a second construction ship, which we are doing. Uh, the next one is take over all of space. Well, I don't know. Space is a pretty large place, so we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do about that. Next one is build more and get more choke points, which is, which is why I want more, uh, you know, science ships. So we can go over here, maybe get all the way down to here, or maybe down there. Well, maybe over here, over here, and see what's around us. That'd be good. So someone also recommended that building star bases is always worthwhile. They don't really hurt you too much. Ooh, there goes our ship. Go ship, go. We also build more science ships so we can do anomalies later on. It might be better just to wait to do anomaly stuff until we run into places to explore, maybe. Or maybe get someone dedicated to doing that. Uh, let's see. Research, though, is good for late game focus. It's always good to do research. But it's good to also do it, really focus on it in the late game. We get influence, research, political, that, research subsidies. Uh, increases upkeep of researchers by one energy, more research output. Map the stars, I've been told, is actually very good to do as well. So we do need to get some more influence before we can actually take that, so let's see about that. Ooh. And, so, let's get us to the next comment. Uh, whenever we encounter aliens, it'll be good to befriend people. It's always good to befriend people. Uh, build a mining station? Sure. Um, let's see. Entering orbit reduces ship upkeep, so that's cool. Increase your harmony with your ascension stuff. Influence. Increase harmony. Someone recommended I choose harmony eventually because that's supposed to be good. Reduces pop food consumption. Uh, reduce empire sprawl by 10%. Okay. Increase later lifespan. Or demotions. Ship the build speeds increased by 33%. Oh, that's cool. And then the greater good. Okay. And then stability is increased by 5%. That seems pretty good. Stability is pretty important, even though I might not completely remember what it does. Whatever. Someone also recommended that I keep one black hole inside our territory the entire time, which might be okay, maybe not. Oh, 30% for humans. Is this something? Something. Cool. Uh, apparently, like, each planet that there exists has different resources that you might be able to get. Like, some places have more minerals, some places have more electricity, or what do they call it in this game? Energy credits. Energy credits. Some other places might have more food if it's, like, a really wet world. And you can always make more consumer goods. Next up, map the star's edict. Yes, map the star's edict, which is right here. We just need more influence for that one. And I have a turn my page around. Build three science ships. Well, let's slow down. We got a second construction ship, so let's start building the crud out of this area. Build mining stations. Oh, there's no mining stations in there. Over here. Oh, please select you. So we have our second ship here. Build it out. Oh, that. Oh, that. Hmm. Hmm. Should I wait for map the stars? Survey speed. I want to wait maybe first, just because I really want to get that survey speed done very quickly. Uh, I'll have you guys move here first so we can ex annex you guys, or really just take them over and put them into our little group here. Um, let's see, remove all planet blockers. That's what we just did with Earth, which we're trying to do so we can get some more stuff. We're, you know, we're building resource silos, reducing sprawling slums, stuff like that. Uh, get migration treaties with other empires, which I have no idea how diplomacy works in Stellaris yet. Obviously, we haven't met anyone else yet. That's cool with me. Oh, sign ship. What are you doing? Where are you? You are just made? Yes, you might have just been made. Um, actually, come down here. What do you mean, Intel's unknown? Can you do it? Oh, you need a leader. Uh, let's see. It's on slowest. Busy surveying. Oh, it's going to cost me stuff, isn't it? It's going to cost me energy, which was fine. Uh, research speed field manipulation. Research speed particles. Research oh, 5%. That's not bad. Uh, let's go with this person, then. That's fine. Cool. So, that's already pretty much already done. Assist... Oh, resist research to aid in scientific effort of a planet, increasing research output by 10%. That's kind of cool. How about we go here explore or survey the system survey see what we can find around here oh there's a lot of places down here um explore do that one this one would be very good to have too let's see about that let's see what happens so we got two construction ships and three science ships maybe we can get even more because someone said build three science ships not you know just have one oh more research speed good and that was one 
that someone suggested, actually my moderator on my Discord server, one of them, suggested I do first. Research station output looks pretty good. Energy grids? What does that do? Upkeep. Energy credits from technicians plus 15%. That looks pretty good. Colony development speed? Is that worth it? <clears throat> that might be. Hmm. Research. I guess we can go with colony. Let's go with that one. That sounds useful. Another comment was, or, you know, addition or help, will be Empire Sprawl is not good. Yeah, I I don't know what how this is going to hurt me with Empire Sprawl, to be honest with you. No idea. But we got enough allies. I should really pay attention to that. All right, oh, let's go back out here. Cool. Go ahead and add not that one in yet. No, no, we want that one first. That's what we want. I saw allies and I thought influence. My bad. Cool. And then someone build up plants according to their resources. Some planets have more... Should have a lot more energy, so you should build generators. Other places have, if you can't build too many districts, do sign stuff or something. You know, always make sure you have a, a good idea about how your economy is functioning, which is something I'm learning right now. Another one is take more a macro view with construction ships and science. Like, we'll spend a lot of the time in the galaxy map and just right clicking on stuff, which is fine. Which is fine. 130. We can go a little bit faster right now. And let's see. Please, your factions early on to get more influence. We'll leave that for now, it's fine. Oh, look at that. Yeah, please, your factions, because we're... Our country, nations, United Nations of Earth, really wants to please factions that'll be beneficial for us. Let's see. Monthly unity? Well, that's good, I guess. Additional edicts. Cool. New research. Planetary unification. Society research. Unlocks clearing of this. Toxic health. Administrative capacity. What does that do? Uh, you are good with resilient... Oh, yes, doesn't matter. New world, colonization, pioneer training. Uh, that looks good. Is that worth doing more than this, though? Administrative capacity. What is administrative capacity? Is this like aggressive expansion or governing capacity in EU4? Oh, God, there's even more minerals. Oh, no. Oh, we have volatile molds. We need to get that research, though. Let's see. Influence, consumer goods. Cool. You know what? Let's just go with this because it looks like it gives you more research for that color. Cool. Uh, someone said, also, make sure that you will, you might want to focus on robots. Oh, actually, there's a place here that we might be able to use. Cool. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's fine. Oh, nice. Oh, can you do anything else? Oh, look at that. That gives you quite a bit of stuff here. So this construction ship is kind of hanging out. Mm, we can't really build stuff. Is there anything we can do here? Build, oh, mining stations? Research stations. I didn't even do that area. Well, my bad. Uh, let's see, build robots, keep factions happy. Envoys basically are our diplomats, so that's good to know. 70% of... If you see any world that's 70% or higher for colonizing, you should probably colonize it. Probably, maybe. Let's see. Event humans are okay, they're not the greatest, they're not the worst, they're just kind of okay. Are you guys okay here? Uh, you are doing what? Oh, you're just taking your time. Probably moving... Yeah, you're moving around, cool. You guys are there waiting for me. You guys are over there. Science ship, you are just doing your stuff. And let's see. So, it was recommended that I go with, when we do our traditions, we finish off Discovery. And then we should probably move to Expansion. That would be good. Seems cool. And then maybe do Harmony. Or Prosperity. Or Domination. Depending on what we choose here. So... A lot of comments from yesterday. It took us about 13 minutes to get through all those comments, which is fine, fine, fine with me. Because, well, we need to learn. I need to learn. Maybe you guys know everything. I, I'm i like, woo! What's going on? Cool. So, yo! Are over there. So, come here. Survey that. We're gonna go the long way around. This looks like it's kind of valuable over here. And then do that. See what happens. Anyone else need a job? You guys are constructing stuff in Seoul? I doubt you can really do much here. Yeah, we've kind of already established that. We can't do anything there. Yeah, we can't. Is there anything we can do? Oh. Um. Nothing there. We we'll build a star base. Oh, hold on. You guys. Uh, where's the hold maneuver? Stop maneuver. Cool. Now we can do this. Oh, we can have education campaign. 700 credits. Wow. Leader experience gain. Oh, that doesn't seem too bad. It seems kind of useful. Recycling campaign. 
pop goods. Oh, that's not bad either. Pop consumer goods upkeep goes down by 10%. That's probably best to wait. Do that. Encourage political thought. Research subsidies. Fortify the border. Now let's go map the stars. I've heard that one's really good to do. Which means we won't be able to do so for a while here then. We need a lot more influence. Ooh, this one. This routine. Let's leave it be for now. We'll come back to it a little later. You guys are still... Ooh, it's over here. Is it a habitable world? Yes, looks like it. It's found an anomaly. That's cool. We're just going to let time go on a little bit more. I'm just really worried about Empire Sprawl. That's what I'm kind of worried about. Oh, we have... Oh, another colony ship. Uh... Well, that one's 70%. This one is 80%. This one is 90%. So we'll probably come here too. Uh, let's see. Let's go look at this. 333 three, three, and Sirius. Oh, someone's got a level. That's cool. Not sure what I can do with that, but that's okay. This looks pretty good for wet climate. Cool. So we're going to send you over here to hang out. Hang out. Have a good time. And encounter and jolt hum. Ah, okay. Contact reports. Eg enigmatic spacefarers. Oh, okay. That's cool. News of alien ships humming through the ether have reached Earth, and in many ways ending the first chapter in the book of the United Nations of Earth's bid for a stellar empire. So now we should probably go with Science Division. Research alternatives increased by one, and Science Level Cap increased by two. Sure. Sounds good. Whatever that does. Polytechnic Education. Experience gained by 25%, and Cap Level increases by 1%. Cool. 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 Oh, look at that. That's pretty bad. 10%. Oh my gosh. You gotta be a nutcase who wants to go there, right? Hey, look at that. What is that? Mining station. Beautiful. You guys are there. You guys are there. We can build another one here. Is it worth it? Let's hope so. Build, 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 build. What are you... Anomaly. We'll just do this a little later. Leave for B now. We'll research all the anomalies. Oh, no. 43. That's not good. I don't like that. Actually, how's Earth doing? So now we still have two jobs. I thought we made something. Oh, I thought we... Mm. You know, at the very least... Scandinavian Reclamation Sector. Delhi Sprawl. Nice. Uh, is there any way I need to know about what we need for now? We have two housing. Um, we might need more housing, though. Seems like we might need more housing. If that's the case... Oh, should I ever do... Uh, automation is on. That's good, I guess. Uh, let's see. Enforcer jobs. Research labs. District. Civilian industries. Administrative offices. So what do we have for Population. Still, two workers are not are needed. Technicians. Oh, technicians, they could have been good. Miners, farmers. Yeah, trade value. Maybe we should grab one of these, because it gives you more housing that we'll need. And it does give you another clerk job. Let's throw one on there and see what happens. Cool. Uh, oh, leave it be for now. That's fine. Keep watching these guys. you got to get a little bit more influence. Archaeological site discovered. Cool. Go and, and don't do that. We're going to keep mapping stuff out. I'm, I'm a little surprised we actually haven't encountered anyone yet. Usually I'm pretty slow at <laughs> researching stuff. Yeah. Hmm. I, yeah, we might go this one first, actually. You guys come over here. I probably want to actually take that area first. Oh, look at that. It has a trade value. Nice. Where's this? Good. So, you're there. You're moving. Is there anything else here we can do? No. Anything else here we can do? No. Anything else here we can do? No. So I'm going to keep you here, maybe. We'll see what happens. Cool. Oh. Colony ship is kind of hanging out. What is that? Nostia? Man. Oh, we definitely need to get more influence. How do we get more influence? Map the stars. Is it worth doing education? Leader experience gain? Pop consumer goods? Uh, what's the situation look like? So, home anyone? Excavate? Alloy metallurgy? So we haven't had any elections yet. We have over 12 a month. Every every month. Yeah, that's good. Eurasians, and then and get, investigate that stuff. We need to learn more about the mysterious aliens. Do they pose the language? Decipher it. Reward influence or special project? Oh, uh, that's going to take a while to do. So let's maybe not do that yet. Come on, we need more influence. We're building what? Being, oh, this place is still being colonized. It's taking forever to colonize. Wow. 
And you're building a city district, which is good. Ooh. Leave it be for now. We got so many things to research. Calling ship, construction, construction. You guys are just hanging out, having a good time. Maybe I should get maybe I should build another. Hmm. Would it be worth it? I guess you can always destroy them. Let's get another sign ship. One more. Just one more. What is that? Oh, that's the alien vessel. Uh, I want to finish the other research first before we do anything about that. And the shipyard's almost done with a fourth science ship. Cool. I'm actually going to send you guys... You guys... Oh, we can split up two ways that way. Man, this, we're really discovering stuff quickly, man. Woo! You need a later? Of the Kelvin. Um, research speed, research speed, research... Why do you all research speed? I'm going to go with this person just because this person is going to be alive probably for longer than everyone else. So you guys can survey that. Cool. We're doing a lot of surveying. And that probably ha drains more on our resources, too, to do that. Oh, good. Actually, let's, let's see. You are available. You... Wait, we can... Locking Starbase up. Do we need to colonize this one first? We can build an outpost there. Ooh. Is that worth doing Bernard's... I've heard that might be better to do. Uh, I guess we'll... Hmm... Hmm. I do want to come over here too. That's seventy percent. That's not bad. Two six three six. Two. I do want that. I want everything. I want as much as I can possibly get. So I guess we're gonna go this way first. Go ahead and do that. I suppose that's fine. See what we can do about that. Oh, uh, leave it be for now. Maybe we should take one of these science ships and actually start researching stuff. Level three. Level three. Level one. Level one. Cool. Build. Build. Build quickly, please. Kelvin. Oh, what is this? Cool. Upgrade, nice. A new colony, nice. We actually have a new colony. So apparently, according to someone, oh, planet deficit. Oh, that's not good. We can go ahead and clear out these things if we need to. If we can, but we obviously cannot right now. Passable mountains, stuff like that. So whenever we create a new place, we have one population. What should I do first? Let's see, maybe we get some more energy. What, what does this place offer? Let's see. Colony, population, growth speed, more happiness. Um, we have no unemployment. Available jobs, one available job. We have reassembled ship shelter. City district, would that be good to do? Oh, let's take a look at population. We just have... Oh, a specialist. There's no unemployed specialist pops. There's only one person here. Uh, is this growing? It is not growing at all. We can let time go on very slowly, I suppose. Cool. Planetary features. Would this be worth doing? Housing, technician jobs. It does say it would give us more stuff. More energy. And we do have no energy. Planetary production. Specialist jobs, colonists, one out of two, available job. Hmm. We don't have any workers, though, and we don't want to demote anybody. That doesn't sound like a good idea to, to demote people. But someone's got to make electricity, right? Just do it anyways, why not? People in the comments, you guys, let me know if that's a good thing to do or not, because sometimes I make not great decisions. Oh, encounter, cool. New campaign? Oh no. Oh no. Let's see. Ruling from Earth. 25% uh, candidate support. This one? Not enough. Oh boy. Communicate. Oh no. Oh boy. The Rax Talik Trading Coalition. Oh boy. Hello. Who the heck are you? The undisputed ruler of the Rax Talak Trading Coalition. Respect our borders and keep out of our affairs, and perhaps our mighty fleets will refrain from visiting your worlds. So they are xenophiles, so that's similar to us. But they're a fanatic militarist. Claim influence minus 20%, ship fire rate plus 20%. How should we respond? We're delighted to meet you. We pursue true equality. We're not standing in our way. We could learn much from each other. Well, they are xenophiles. Cool. Wildfire. This is a momentous occasion. Oh, it costs 50 to support. Oh, God. I don't have 50. 
Oh well. All pops who may vote do so in the winners select a president. Is that bad if I can't select him? Research agreement proposal. Oh, what does this do? <clears throat> Form a research agreement with this empire. This will give both empires a bonus to the research speed of all the em other empires' discovered technologies. They are receptive, which is good, and they are overwhelming. Oh, the ruthless capitalist. That's kind of cool. Of course. Does that cost me anything? I have no idea. Actually, we got you done too. Nice, 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 nice. And now I'm going to need you guys to come over here. Oh, uh, actually. Oh, so if that's theirs. If all this is theirs. Ooh, we got to make sure this place is directly under us at all times. But what are you doing? You guys are over there. You probably can't do anything there. You probably can't do anything there. Um, maybe we should make this person do all the anomalies. That's not a bad idea. The person will learn. They've learned election. I don't care about elections. Oh, commercial pack. What does that do? Ever feel like your life is all about the have-tos and never about the want-tos humans here at our place, Coalition? We live for doing the right things you don't want to do, so you don't have to. Enter commercial pact. Cool. Increases the value of both Empire trademarks. Is this, is this like a reverse embargo in EU4? That sounds like it. Alright, so, let's see. Let's come over here. Situation log. Investigate work. So, we could use that. Takes 22 months to complete. Uh, I guess we'll do that. Why not? Precursor. It's probably the worst thing to do. That's okay. Strange asteroid. Visit the site. Um, let's go back over here. Situation log. Track on the map. Oh, you're actually over there. We don't really have you, though. Assign a scientist. I don't know. How about anyone home? Track on map. Oh, it's over there. That's actually closer to with as actually in our borders. Uh, maybe we could just take whatever we have here. So let's look at this. Let's go to and then I'm gonna have you not you, you come here. We can't excavate. Excavate. Oh we can't excavate outside of our lands. Okay. Alright then you guys come over here then. There you go. Good luck with that. Maybe that's the right thing to do, maybe that's not the right thing to do, but we do have 45 out of 50 Empire Sprawl, which I don't like. Ruler elected Dolores Muwanga. Muwanga. Okay. Cool. And economics many fulfilled. Great. Alright. Re-elected a ruler. Cool. We didn't fail that yet. Thumbs up, guys. Situation. Whatever. Uh, contacts, planetary market, policies. What do you have for policies? This looks all very... A lot. That's all I can say. It's a lot. Edicts. Yeah, that stuff is there. Sh oh, there's a ship designer. Auto best. Situation log. Contacts. The player empire. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, they have 41 population. We have 37. And they have two empire colonies. Mm, government. Modifiers. Where did I see the demographics? No. Well, let's let time go on because things have to get processed and finished. Uh, are you are you guys no, you're not done yet. good um where is the edgy the election stuff there's always something that they have to do every year right influence no alloys no as a market which people tell me like to trade and sell stuff to get some stuff it sounds like the market's perfectly what is that eat a capacity oh you can only have one edict okay empire sprawl envoys oh what do we do with envoys then make them stop their current assignment and turn to a capital ready for the next next Task. Traditions. Oh, wait, do we have relics? No, we don't have relics. Yeah, we don't have any relics. That's fine. Ship designer fleet technology factions. Oh, fa oh, factions. No factions yet. That seems pretty good. Xenophiles. Okay, 51. Egalitarian. All right. Finish doing that stuff. Good job, I guess. You weirdo. We can claim that stuff quickly. Who are you? Oh, that's not us. You guys are still traveling. That's cool. You guys are over there, kind of hanging out, having a good time. Anything you can do? Uh, anything you can do? Anything you can do? Anything you can do? No? Cool. We send them here as well. We'll just build stuff here as fast as possible. Oh, who the? What the? Who are you? What is this? Whoa, what is all this stuff? Military... Oh my gosh. Chores compass? Independent? 
We can play slots in this game? A reliquary. Purchase coins? Um, is that like Las Vegas or something there? Some kind of wild. Oh, and a certain ascension. Cool. Uh, sure. And then the last one will be faith in science. Uh, people reduced by 20%. Uh, that looks pretty good. Please give me more influence. Oh, we only have two? Why is that? Consumed? Research? Oh! Oh! So that we lose that. Oh! Can you... Oh, here. Can one of you guys do this? We're lacking 35. God dang it. Uh, enter orbit. Is that that might help us save resources for now, right? I'm not sure it's going to save us a lot of resources, but that's okay. Ooh, uplink. Leave it be for now. We have the other person doing excavation and stuff like that. So we have to get this tile. Ooh. No, they just took it. Okay, we gotta get this one then. Oh, oh boy. Um, colony ship. Make your way down here. That's the next one we gotta grab. You make your way down here. Yeah, that would be good. I don't. We, maybe we'll never attack this group. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Faction founded. Ricardo Aguera. Individual choice society. Is that good? Is that bad? I have no idea. Factions. It's good to please your factions, apparently. Communications established. Oh boy. Interesting. Hello. So they are pacifists. Oh, looks good. And fanatic materialist. Delighted to meet you. We can learn much from each other. Pursue true equality. Uh, let's learn from each other, because I know they like that. Manage factions. Oh my goodness. Promote faction? 75% approval. 100% support. This seems like a good place to end the episode so you guys can tell me everything I need to know for the following episode. So, please, like I said yesterday, please let me know everything and anything that I need to know about what we've done, what I need to know, and what's going to happen soon. If you enjoyed today's episode, though, somehow, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as I will try to expand more and try to get more influence. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.